Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I want to do is scrap one of these printers you find in your house. You find them a lot on garbage day and what I want to do is answer that question, is it worth separating the material, taking it apart and selling the parts individually or if it's better just to leave it as is and bring it to the scrapyard whole. Currently in Canada, these are going for e-waste price which is about five cents a pound both of these printers weigh 10 pounds each, so I would get 50 cents for each. Um, so here we go. Uh, for, the fit, for the sake of this video, I am going to focus on the white one here. Um, and I do want to caution, before you scrap these, check if they work. I have already found three really nice office printers that have worked. Uh, sometimes people will throw them out just because the replacement ink cartridges almost cost as much as the printer. Um, so you definitely want to check. Uh, these both don't work and as I said you find a lot of them on the side of the road. Uh, the first thing I want to look at is actually the power cord that goes with that. Uh, the power cord in Canada this would go for uh, what we call 40% copper recovery uh, appliance wire and the reason it's classified as 40% is for the sake of this video, I've already cut a different one that was uh, frayed. Inside, you can see there are three individual copper strands that are coated. You've got a blue one or a green one, a white one and a black one, as well as an additional outer coating. And scrapyards look at copper recovery and plastic to copper ratio. Because there is an outer coating of plastic and the plastic coating on the three strands, there's more plastic. So currently, this is going for $1.28 a pound. The cord is almost a pound, which is great. It also does have, you can see, some nice brass prongs. Some people will take these off and put them into their brass bucket. And brass right now is going for $2.90 a pound. There's definitely not a pound there, but we just store it up and it adds up. And I do that. I actually have a video on uh, taking off big brass prongs and putting it in a bucket. It's definitely worth it, in my opinion. But if not, you definitely can throw this into your 40% uh, appliance wire. Uh, as well, some of them are really, really great condition. You could also look at selling them, but because this is for scrapping purposes, um, almost a pound there, so almost $1.28. For the sake of this video, I have removed the outer screws. There is a lot of plastic, so a lot of the weight for the stuff inside here is going to be going to uh, the landfill if I scrap this. Um, and I also do want to caution, I like to wear gloves when I'm doing this because there is ink residue and I don't like to mess up my garage or my house or my hands with ink all over them. So for the sake of this, I will wear rubber gloves. Uh, and I have actually already opened the panel. Some of them will have the ink cartridge inside. You can see there is a lot of leak already on there, um, green residue. Uh, so you do want to be careful. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I actually picked up a printer and thank goodness it wasn't near my clothes because there was a really big ink leak and it just went all over the floor, all over the road, sorry. And glad it wasn't my pants or my car. So unfortunately, I left it there and uh, you know, the uh, dump truck guy, hopefully <laughs> he didn't get uh, dirtied as well. So your two ink cartridges, there is, as you can see on there, a nice gold ribbon. There's a little bit of gold on that. Um, I, I will cut that off and I put that into my gold. Uh, but it is, as you can see, still wet with ink. So before I do that, I do want to dry it off. But that ribbon right there, that gold stuff is um, attached to that. Um, you can also take these in. I don't want these going in the landfill. So I will bring these into Best Buy. Uh, or Office Depot, they will take them. And sometimes they will actually give you, uh, based on poundage, um, some money back. Um, if I do get that, great. If I don't, at least I can keep this ink and ink cartridges out of the landfill. Um, but there is some gold on there. Okay, I'm gonna open it up here, uh, take off my, so some panels on the side here. You can see inside there's a really nice drum going to rip that off. Um, this, if I put a magnet to it, this is just the top. You can see this is all plastic. There is 
a little ribbon in there. Um, this ribbon is gonna have some tin, I guess, on it, so it's not worth much. There'll be a couple screws, but if I put a magnet, there is nothing really of value in this top. It's just gonna be garbage. Inside here, there is a small circuit board that I have. There's a little spool of copper that I'm gonna look at right now. Um, and there also, hang on, so I'm gonna get that out. There's also, right here on there, there's a little ribbon that looks like it has, if I open it, there is a little bit of gold. There's an ICU chip. Um, there is a um, uh, what the, what the, uh, oscill crystal oscillator right there. Um, those can have traces of silver. I collect those. So just going to quickly open this up for you. It's just, um, this one is gonna take like an Allen key. So I'm just gonna get this out for you. And one thing about circuit boards, circuit boards right now, and there are, they are different in different countries and different areas. Uh, they fluctuate in weight, uh, price. And what they look at is there are three different categories. There is low grade, medium grade, high grade. And if I look at this board here, there really isn't much um, gold. There is a little chip there. If I uh, pop that off, which I will do, you can see a little bit of gold on that. Um, this would probably be medium grade because there is gold under that. And uh, to classify as a high grade board, it's gonna need a lot of gold on there, okay? So um, I am gonna look at the copper as well. This copper would go for number two copper. And number two copper right now is $4.50 a pound which is definitely great. Um, I will say that I will make a lot more money taking the parts off of this circuit board and selling those individually. Like I said, the copper, I'm gonna make more just on the copper than I would for this circuit board alone. Because as I said, here in my area of Canada, I do not get paid much for my circuit boards. Um, like I said, probably three to four cents. And this probably only weighs, you know, four or five ounces, so there's not much to it. We do have a couple uh, aluminum um, capacitors here that I like. I'm looking inside, there is a little bit of gold in there, which is good, so I will scrap this, uh, separate it on another time, but circuit board as is, I'd probably get about one penny for this. Okay, there is another little circuit board here, um, and I'm just gonna look at the main thing, a lot of this is metal, which is great, but I wanna check the bar. Oh, the bar is steel. Sometimes these bars here uh, that go across, that bring the arm back and forth, you wanna put a magnet to those because they could, if they are not magnetic, they could be stainless steel. And stainless steel is going for right now um, 55 to 60 cents a pound. Uh, but unfortunately, I just put a magnet to it and it is uh, steel. Okay, a lot of the rest of this is going to be steel. There are a lot of screws that need to be taken out. Um, I was told by a couple people, yeah, see this is steel too. Sometimes there is stainless steel on these plates, but it's all magnetic. Um, so I wanna say this is gonna be a smaller unit, uh, um, probably a lower scale version. Uh, you can buy higher end printers that are a little bit better, a little bit, uh, you know, have their, they have their fax machine. And this has a fax machine and stuff, but they have all the little bells and whistles that go with it. I'm just going to try and pry this bar up so you can see, just to pull it out. You want to make sure you wear safety glasses. Okay, it's in there really good. Well, there's a couple of things. Um, the nice thing about this actually is the rest of this is just gonna be steel. Uh, I don't see any other real big components. Um, the nice thing, if I take this in and get steel price for it, I don't have to throw away the plastic. Um, so I actually, for the sake of this, I'm gonna just weigh it now. Steel price right now, is going for, i to take that off because this is just plastic, this is garbage. So I would just take 
this piece in because it's all mounted. And I could unscrew it, but the nice thing is, is steel prices, if there is a little bit of plastic on it, scrapyards don't care. Uh, and right now I have 4.5 pounds. Currently in Canada right now, steel is going for about nine to 10 cents a pound. So just for this, you know, I'd have, what I say, five pounds, five pounds um, at 10 cents. So I almost have just as much money in terms of my steel. Um, so in my opinion, definitely not worth taking apart. Uh, I'm gonna make pretty much the same. The only real thing that I want to get are, as I said, the ink cartridges. There is a little bit of gold recovery in that. And as I said, if you checked with your local Home Depot and stuff and they give you money, back for your ink cartridges, definitely better to sell them that way. Um, there is a little bit on my circuit board of copper. Um, there is definitely your uh, cord here, the 40% copper recovery. But other than that, a lot of plastic. There is no stainless steel, but you do wanna check that. But in my opinion, not worth my time. And luckily I was wearing gloves, as you can see. It's not worth the cleanup. I think I did have a hole, so I do have a little bit of cleanup to do, but definitely not as much. So not worth my time, not worth my effort. I'm just glad that it is being diverted. I can actually, as I said, bring it into the scrapyard, or if you do not have a scrapyard near you, there are local electronic drop-off facilities. You can take those two and divert them from the landfill. Hope that answered the question for you. I uh, hope you found it informative. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Tin Man out.